Good afternoon. Um, I just finished up working out. Uh, if you guys didn't know, um, for a while I had an in-person brick and mortar business that was semi-private personal training. I did that for like two years, two and a half years. Um, we closed it in July of this past year and opened it basically April of 2015. Um, Anyways, um, I filed my last tax return for that business or that partnership um, last month, beginning or ended last month. I thought that partnership returns were due at the same time personal tax returns were due, which was the case for 2014 and 2015. However, I got this wonderful notice from the IRS in the mail today telling me that um, I'm being charged a $390, $390 penalty for being one month late. I mean, really? $390 for being a month late on an informational tax return? This is the kind of messed up stuff that um, is going on in our country in regards to small business um, and tax taxation. Um, there's just, that's just, it's just outrageous. I mean, I can understand a late fee, but $195 per partner per month. So if it had been two months late, they would have charged me $780. I mean, it's just, that's, I don't know. I, I feel like that's unreasonable, not to mention that the return date was at the middle of April for the last two years and legislation was passed that swapped it from the like middle of April to the middle of March. I don't remember receiving any kind of notification, but I'm sure all the IRS peeps would say it's your responsibility to keep yourself informed of when you need to give your information to us so we can take money from you, which is just, I don't know, man, it just really grinds my gears. But that's part of having a business. Um, and if you guys are like, well, why weren't you working with an accountant, blah, blah, blah. I do have an accountant. I see her basically, I did see her basically twice a year for business stuff. Once at the beginning to get things in order of how, what I needed to record of and keep track of, and then once at the end of the year to actually file the taxes. When you're a small business, you don't have the, um, especially if you're bootstrapping, you really don't have the financial resources to hire somebody full time or even on a monthly basis. You're responsible for doing the books and keeping track of things in addition to like actually delivering on the business, working on the business. So, I mean, it's no joke running a small business. Um, and sometimes stuff like this happens and you just deal with it. So um, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm just gonna pay it, be done with it, which is I think typically the best option when it comes to the IRS. Um, anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It's just shit like this. Like you have to not let $390 tax penalties um, get you down and you have to continue to move forward on a daily basis towards whatever it is you're pursuing. Um, on a good note today, I did get my uh, new charger for my DSLR camera um, because I left my battery charger in Liberty, Missouri um, at the Jiu-Jitsu tournament I went to a couple weeks ago, so I got that. And on another good note, Cal pulled himself up for the first time, which was awesome. Uh, my wife sent me a video while I was at work Check out my Instagram feed. You can see it there. Um, actually, Cal is... Cal. What are you doing? What are you doing, silly? Come over here. Anyways, um, that's that. Uh, thought I'd share that with you guys. You're gonna run into stuff like this yourself, and I'm sure you already have if you are in business for yourself. Uh, but yeah, just keep marching forward, brick by brick. Yeah. I'm just tired. My hair's all crazy. Hi, Cal. You better not put this on anything. I'm going to. I'm gonna put it all over you too. No. Yes. Look at that hair. <laughs> Yeah, you have such a judgmental face. <laughs> oh yeah, you agree? He's tired, Daddy. You gonna go to sleep?
Rowan, stop itching. What is that? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Grumpy old troll. Rowan. You must answer me this to pass the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, but you guys. Where's Opie? He's underneath the blanket. Hi, Cal. Hi, Cal. I love you, buddy. Can't wait till you start walking. Take me too. Then this woman will have control over me. I don't have control over him now. Kelsey, thank you for coming to Harry Potter's, Potter's Anonymous. Please state your name and... I would never go to Harry Potter's Anonymous because I don't have a problem. <laughs> yeah, you would. No, I You'd wouldn't. Say, you would say... You would say... Hi, my name's Kelsey Freeborn and J.K. Rowling ruined my life. No, yeah. she made it better. <laughs> I cannot remove myself from the couch because Harry Potter runs on a loop. That's not true. I'll go like a couple months without seeing it. More like a couple days. That's not true. Now you're lying. Cal, you're supposed to be going to sleep. Yeah. What? Night-night.